over again. I'm just going to well, relive. You're, you're a big man here, so it doesn't matter. My anti-glory here. How Thank you, you very fall much, at Kennedy. I appreciate it's that. It's all right. It's time for another news. We take a look at the news stories that may not be on your radar, but they should be a large shipment with over 14,000 pair of retro Nike shoes turned out to be fakes, according to police in California. Now, if they were genuine, they would have been worth over $2 million. Since they were fake, they were only worth 2 million middle schoolers asking, what are those? In other news, residents of a North Carolina beach town have been advised by officials to not wash any clothes for five days. Five days, that's nothing. I barely wash once a month. In other news, a vegan claims she called the police on her friends after they tricked her into eating chicken nuggets. Now, if we started arresting people for every time they tricked us into eating vegetables, prisons will be full of parents, spouses, and the owner of Beyond Meats. You know what, now that I think about it, let's see where this goes. And finally, a pair of Republic Airways employees found themselves both arrested and terminated after their very physical breakup was caught on camera. Allegedly, she saw something on his cell phone that she did not like, and it wasn't that he preferred to fly American. Let me know what you think of these stories using the hashtag GetUpDC. And by the way, Gio, yes. you owe the people of DC an apology. For what? Because of all the national slander before that series. I did not give them slander. Yes, you did. I gave the Redskins slander. I'm calling you out. I was positive with the You Nationals. are a perpetual wet blanket. It is 611, 57 degrees.